In this video, we're going to talk about how UX fits in with the development cycle. There are several different ways in which user experience researchers and designers collaborate with development teams. In a traditional model, often employed in companies using waterfall methodologies, UX designers and user researchers focus on the first phases of the process by helping to uncover customer needs, define the requirements for the system, and create prototypes and wireframes for development to work from. They risk, however, not being involved enough with the development and delivery of projects, resulting in designs being modified mid-development unexpectedly. For best results in a waterfall environment, we want to integrate user-centered activities throughout the development process. For example, by doing continual usability testing and consulting with the developers during the development process. In Lean UX, our goal is to quickly validate and refine our ideas using the smallest amount of effort possible. We can do this by helping teams focus not on market segments, but on behavioral patterns and specific problems that users are trying to solve. We can also use prototypes and usability testing to rapidly validate new ideas, and we can integrate key UX metrics into our product teams to keep track of how people respond to our product. In Agile teams, our goal is to integrate UX into the product cycle by making sure the team understands and receives regular user feedback. This can be done by integrating usability test highlight clips into bug tracker tickets, having developers sit in on usability tests, and by working one to two sprints ahead of the development team in the backlog on solving usability issues that can't be tackled in a single two to four week sprint. Design thinking is less of a development approach as it is a way of thinking holistically about how a product or service is created. It starts by deeply emphasizing with a specific user base and helping to define the problem that they're facing. Once the problem is more clearly defined, you can create several potential ways to solve the problem and then prototype and test a few variations to see what works best. Design thinking can be done with physical products, software, or even social issues. The point is not to create a discrete set of steps as much as it is to understand the people you're designing for as deeply as you can and to focus on testing your ideas early and often in the service of finding the best solution to the problem. 